Uh, congratulations. Back to the final eight again. You take out John Isner today. Uh, what worked best for you on the court today? Uh, I, think every, I think everything. But uh, the only thing I'm hoping every time I play against John is just my return to be in. I think that's uh, that's the one thing. And I was trying to, to, to stay as aggressive as I could be uh, against him. It's always very tricky, especially when you serve 140 out wide. That helps a lot. But... Um, you know, I just something about that that Cali Desert. I don't know. I don't know something something about it that I that I feel good out here, and um, it's. I feel like a little bit more relaxed when I'm when I'm out here. I guess I don't know. And you know, it's a good day again. Well, back in its original slot here at Indian Wells, so it's been nice to have all the crowds. And how has that been different this year, com even compared to last year, where you did get to the semifinals? Yeah, certainly. I mean, you see a lot of a lot of people, even on the days off. Like you see, there's a lot of people, a lot of movement going on. I think players are a little bit more loose. Everybody's like enjoying more of that atmosphere. And I, for one, missed it a lot. And uh, yeah, it's that 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 time of the year. I, I always say it's like it's very special, especially like, I think. The conditions can be really tricky around that time of the year. Last year was like, you know, it's going to be a hot day and it's going to be a hot day and after another hot day. But this time I just felt like, OK, coming coming into 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 that week, I, I knew I just I was not playing at my best. I was like kind of my body was not like tuned up. And but again, I came back here, saw the people, had the energy and um, yeah, little by little, the I'm building up. Well, we saw Rafa Nadal play another almost seven-footer, saw some of the challenges he had with the serve, bouncing up. Against John Isner, he plays a lot of tie breaks, mm -hmm. but you managed to get the one break of serve in the first set. What were some of the keys to returning effectively against him? Uh, today, I must say, I, I stayed very close to the line, and I was just trying to be like a little bit, bit more reactive than, than giving him... I just didn't want it to give him a lot of space because I know the moment you go far back, um, I mean, it's it's almost impossible to return. And the courts here are very, very bouncy. I played at a, like, kind of a warm time uh, time of the day. So I just had to, like, be very aggressive of the return. Um, and I was, I, I think, especially in the first set, I, I played a really good game. I read, like, every shot, like, nearly every every serve. And I think that, that really helped me. I caught him off guard. And... I think that was that. I knew a second set, and it was like, okay, I know he's gonna start serving again. And then he kept he kept on going after the first and second serve. I had to be like a little bit more patient. And um, yeah, as soon as the tiebreak came through, I, I knew I just had to look after my side of the net. You just never know what can happen. Um, yeah, on, on the other side, but I was again, I was able to read a few a few good returns and kept good composure and used every opportunity. You have a lot of fans out here, a lot of friends out here as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, all, all over the world you do, but in America especially and in Delray Beach, you had two very special friends come yeah. to cheer you on. <laughs> Venus and Serena Williams watched you play yeah. in, in a match. What's the pressure having them in the stands watching you while you play? So much. No, <laughs> no definitely not. Like, uh, you know, there, there's such an amazing human. So I have such a great relationship with, with them. And I'm so thankful and grateful every time they're, they're able to even come and like, you know, cheer me up. And uh, they're just amazing, you know, like and every time, like I, I, I get the chance to talk to them when we share so many like amazing mo like memories. And I always, I also try to pick a little bit of their brain in terms of the game and, you know, like mental toughness and so on. Um, I just think they're that, that incredible. So, um, I re and now I think we enjoy a lot more even outside outside the outside the sport. We we exercise together. We do like actually we did quite a bit of gym. I even uh, went to Serena's house in my laundry there. So <laughs> so you know like we we were, it was it was just just a lot of fun and we can uh, we can discuss a lot of uh, different things and yeah being uh, being domestic as well I guess. So. <laughs> Working out with the Williams sisters that's fantastic. Yeah. I saw it during the off season when you go back home and work out. You're in the snow and the mountains. I mean, tell me about that workout. How much fun is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I enjoy it. I mean, for me, honestly, that, that's a lifestyle to me. I, I really don't have it as, a, as an off-season. I really, I'm, I'm such an, out, you know, an outdoor type of person. I, I love to challenge myself on, on daily basis, of course. Um, when I'm competing, I'm trying to stay out of trouble, of course. But, um, yeah, in the off-season, I love to go in the mountains. I love to do, like, mountain bike go swim i don't know i was i was swimming in the middle of the of the mountain uh i climbed i did a cross-country ski um 
I don't know. I just I love this. So it gives me such a such a good energy, and I feel in the same time. Not only I'm working out, I feel like I'm recharging my batteries, and it stays in your head. I think it's it's also fun once once the year begin. Like you kind of feel like okay, I've done a lot of work. I had a lot of fun. You feel fresh, and I think that's very important, especially when you go years after years. And uh, yeah, so far 13 behind and. And still going strong. Well, it is certainly paying off. Uh, it is fantastic to have you back here Thank on the you. desk with us in the quarterfinals. We wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks good luck.